Speaking about students at New York City Public Schools, they are learning remotely today as the whole city braces for this major storm after such a long drought. Fox Size Braille Thomas Eddie joins us live from the Upper East Side. Braille, how's it looking right now in the city? Yeah, Bianca, well, with remote learning, it sure seems like we're backtracking into the COVID era, but snow wise right now, it's kind of like a winter wonderland. It's on the lighter side. I think this is sort of tapering off uh, from what we saw earlier between seven, eight o'clock. Things were uh, really heavy, really slushy, really snowy, but uh, you, the city urged people to stay off the roads. Uh, the case right now, the, the traffic is light. People are still driving up First Avenue. We're here on the Upper East Side, uh, but they are moving slowly and cautiously. So that is a very good time, uh, excuse me, a good sign. The sanitation department is well equipped to plow all of these streets at the same time. We just have to make sure we get enough snow so it is indeed plowable. Uh, officials said that we've got to have at least two inches on the ground. I think we have passed that at this point, but we are still waiting, as Audrey mentioned, for those official uh, Central Park and Manhattan snow totals to come in. The MTA, in the meantime, working to ensure a smooth commute for those who opt to take mass transit today. Buses were outfitted with snow chains and de-icing systems are being used to protect the train tracks. And getting back to that remote learning situation, yes, all public school students here in the city are learning from home. Mayor Adams was on Good Day New York earlier this morning with an update on what that looks like. Well, it, it is so important that many people forgot that uh, after COVID, we had some severe learning loss, particularly in math, and we have to keep pace. We are only allowed, uh, we must have, I should say, 180 school days a year by law. And because of this tool of remote learning, we're allowed to have a remote instructional day and at the same time keep the pace of the success we've been experiencing. Yeah, we are also tracking a developing situation in regard to remote learning. I want to read a tweet that was put out by the city saying that we are currently experiencing issues with services that require IBM authentication to log in. We are actively working with IBM to resolve and will provide an update as soon as possible. Now, school districts have even sent out letters, uh, emails to families warning them to uh, take note of what's happening and to remain as patient as possible, but obviously not the situation you want to have with about a million kids in this public school system. They go uh, try to log on and it is not working properly. Bianca, we'll send it back to you. Uh, at this point, just call it a full snow day. I mean, come on. <laughs>